Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here we are going to differentiate x choose k with respect to x. And of course, x choose k is the binomial coefficient, and here is the little definition for it. Well, in fact, I saw this right here on Wikipedia. They have ddt of t choose k, but I just want to use x right here instead, right? And the result is actually pretty cool. Uh, some of you guys might not like it, but you know, we are going to do this anyway. Okay, so to do this, if we just differentiate this expression, it's actually kind of weird. But we can actually simplify this before we do any differentiation, so we will do that. Okay, here we go. Let me break down the x factorial, and to do so, we'll just get x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times dot dot dot. And I'm going to leave some space right here, okay? And then I'm going to, you know, continue up to 3, 2, 1, you know that. And uh, for the bottom, we are going to leave the k factorial right here. I'm not going to break it apart. Because if we break down this, you see, if we, when we do that, we will end up with x minus k for the first uh, factor. And then the next one is x minus k minus 1. It goes down by 1. And then it goes down by another one, so it's minus 2. So on, so on, so on. And then 3, 2, 1. See, once we break this down right here, we can cancel things out, top and bottom. For example, the 3s, the 2s, the 1s, of course. Well, well, hmm, this is x minus k, and when we go down, at some point, we are going to hit x minus k. So, we are going to just put this down right here, x minus k. And then the next one is, of course, x, k, x minus k minus 1, and so on, so on, so on. So, these guys are going to be cancelled here, so let's just put on this, cancel, cancel. Now, the question is, who is the guy before the x minus k guy. Well, look at this. This is x minus technically k plus 1, right? If you factor the negative, and this is x minus k. So this right here is technically x minus parentheses k minus 1, like that. And you can distribute it, you get x minus k plus 1, right? So that's the deal. So it's the term before the x minus k. All right, so you have this, and you can also write it as the folding factorial, but let's not do that. We don't need to. And on the bottom, we just have the k factorial. Now, here is the deal. I'm not going to use the product rule, like, I don't know how many times, like, so many times. We are not going to do that. This is how we can do it. Starting by putting down let y equal to this expression. So I will put down x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times dot 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 up to x minus k plus 1 like this and then over k factorial well to avoid the product loop we can just take the natural log on both sides so we'll do that take the natural log here and take the natural log here when we do that on the left hand side we get the natural log of y now let's do this in our head on the top, it's a product, so we can just break them down into the sum. So the first one is going to be natural log of x. Next one is going to be plus natural log of x minus 1. And because we have a quotient, this is going to be minus natural log of the k factorial. But since the k is just a number, so I will just leave the k factorial in the natural log like this. So this is how you can break it apart. Now, let's do the derivative. Of course, we'll do this by the implicit differentiation. And technically, this is just a logarithmic take differentiation because you take the natural log on both sides. All right, so differentiating the left-hand side, we get 1 over y. And don't forget the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative y, which is the dy dx. That's the one that we want. Now, differentiate everybody here. Of course, differentiating this is really easy, just 1 of x. And the chain rule is just going to say, hey, multiply by 1. Doesn't really matter. Well, well. The derivative of this guy is just 0, so minus 0. Doesn't matter, right? It's just a constant. All right, of course, here we have 1 over y, so let's multiply by y on both sides. So I'm going to isolate uh, dy dx. Finally, we see that dy dx, this right here, y is the original, which is that, which is this, which is just that. So I can put down x choose k. Now for all this, well, 
this bunch of sums, so I'm just going to put them down in the summation. So we multiply by the sum as, okay, we have minus a lot of things, huh? so we are going to change it. And you see this is like saying minus parentheses k plus 1. So it's k minus 1 if it's in a parentheses. Yeah, like that. So I will just pick another index that's a high. Don't be too excited. I'm just saying i as an index, not the imaginary number. Minus 0, so we go from 0 to k minus 1. And we have 1 over x minus this i. Just like that. And dy dx is, of course, differentiating the x choose k. So finally, I will just put this down. It's really cool when you see it like this. That's it. Really cool, huh? Wow!